Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be using the Golang SMTP package to send emails. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So we have a protocol here we're going to use for sending emails, and this is defined by the RFC 5321. If you're wondering what that means, that's a request for comments. And this is a set of standards uh, that's put together by different groups on the internet, primarily the Internet Engineering Task Force. So let's go ahead and go to our code. And like I said, we're going to be using the Golang package SMTP, which is inside the net package. So we're going to be using our regular email address. And we're going to be using the, the uh, Gmail SMTP server. So you might be wondering, well, to send us, why are we using Gmail at all? Why don't we just send an email? Well, the short of it is uh, we don't want to have to bother uh, using our own SMTP server. If we just sent something and we're not a server with a reputation, uh, we wouldn't be able to get our mail delivered. So maintaining that reputation uh, is something you'd have to keep up with, and plus we wouldn't want to have to deal with spam or any of the other maintenance associated with uh, running an SMTP server. So anyway, just like a regular email, we're going to have are from where we're sending it from, and that's going to be the email address you know that we have with you know our SMTP server, and we're of course going to be going to have receiver information as well. So notice that I'm using the OS package to get environmental variable, uh, and the reason we're going to do this in case you know if you put it up, it's just a good habit in case you put it up on uh, GitHub, for instance, or say for instance here. We're saving our password to use our SMTP uh, server. And so it would look something like this. No, this isn't the actual password. I just, you know, but you, you'll see it'll be some kind of random set of characters that you'll use for your password. Uh, anyway, you want to protect that so you wouldn't want to accidentally push it up onto uh, something like GitHub. Um, anyway, um, also, I didn't show. Uh, is the part of the video where you go in and you have to enable less secure app access in your settings um, you know, for your, your email account. Uh, Gmail is kind of cracking down on this. They're not going to allow as much, it sounds like, is kind of the direction they're moving with it. Um, so just, I could put some other option in there too, but then again, they might change it. I have to edit this out. But anyway, you're going to have to enable uh, less secure app access in your email account be able to allow our app here to be able to send emails. And of course, you know, it will need to, you know, it'll use, you know, your actual email address, you know, the name of the server, the port that you'll be using on that server, and as well as, of course, your, whatever your password would be. So anyway, we have our sender data, who it's from, and of course, we're, that's the same one as our, that we have registered with our SMTP server, which, which would be our Gmail account, our Gmail address. And of course we have our password, which we're keeping secret here as well. Um, and of course our two, e you know, who we're sending it to, and we're just grabbing that from the environmental variables as well. Now notice with the two here, it's just like an email in your email client. You can send one email address, you know, send to one email address like we're doing here, but they made this a slice of string because very often you may send it to many different people. Uh, just a word of warning. Uh, you want to make sure you validate the email addresses you're sending to. You don't want to send to a bunch of email addresses that don't actually, don't actually exist. Uh, you don't want to be labeled as spam. So even if you're just someone who sends emails, you want to make sure you protect that reputation. Uh, if you get labeled as spam, well, your stuff isn't going to get delivered to the inbox. It's going to go into spam. Um, anyway, and of course here is the host. This one we're using Gmail, but there's other different options out there. And we're using this particular port because of the type of email we're sending. So the address is a combination of our host and our port, and it's uh, with a semicolon in, in between. So we're just concatenating all this so that way we can create our address. And just like any email, we're going to have a subject. And for this, we're saying, hey, in the subject area, go ahead and put our Golang, our Golang 
email. And for the body of our email, we're just going to put our first email. Now the message needs to be a slice of bytes. And now that message will contain our subject and our body. Now, and what it's going to do, it's going to go ahead and sort it out. When we send the email, you'll see this in the subject line, and then you'll see whatever in the body area down in the body, because it's going to be able to sort that out, because we have our little uh, new line here. Um, anyway, uh, we do have to uh, authenticate to make sure we are able to use that SMT, the SMTP server to send our email. Um, Generally, it's going to be blank for the identity. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Okay, like I said, we're going to use the SMTP package. A um, whole bunch of different uh, functions we're going to use here. Uh, we're going to use the plain authentication as well as the send mail functions in this example. So the plain authentication, um, like it says here, usually identity should be the empty string to act as the username. So this is going to authenticate. Uh, we are who we are. We say we are, and we it will give us access to be able to use that um, SMTP server. Let's go back to our code. Okay, so we have our identity, which we usually leave blank, uh, and the username. You know, well, that's that's going to be our email address. You know, who we're sending it from. If you know, it could be John Doe or you know whoever you are. So. And then we need, of course, need our password for our SMTP server. So when you go into settings and you enable less secure app access, it's going to show you what password you're going to use for that particular app. So that's, you know, once you change that setting, just look out for that password. And of course, our host. So this is the address of our host, smtp at gmail.com. So this is going to go ahead and get our authentication struct. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm sorry, interface, our authentication interface, and it has our different methods here. So we'll be, it, that will be needed for the other function. Okay, so we've authenticated, and now we're finally going to go ahead and send mail, and it'll give us an error if something goes wrong. So we need the address of you know, where we're gonna be sending it to. And remember, I'm sorry, our, our address, I'm sorry, not where we're, where we're sending it from. So we're gonna be sending it from you know, our host and what particular port from that host. So where are we sending this from? Our authentication email, we are who we say we are, um, who it's from and who it's to. And finally, our message, which member has to be a slice of byte. So we're gonna go ahead and send our email. If there is an error, we're gonna go ahead and print that error and then return. But everything goes well. At the end, we're just gonna go ahead and print. Go check your email. So let's go ahead and run this. App is running. Tells us to go check our email. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Oh, there it goes. It knows I sent the exact same thing. So, like I said, it's going to tell who, where it's from, who it's from. Um, I'm going to say, you know, two. And our first email. So that is the message that we had in the body and it was able to tell that uh, from the subject. But anyway, anyway, this is a pretty uh, simple uh, example. Once you know what everything is, it's not, not too hard to put it uh, put together. But remember, uh, from is just who we're sending it from. Password is the password for our SMTP server. Email is who we're sending it to. And remember with two, it's a slice of string because we could send it to many different people. Um, of course, you know, where we're sending, the address of where we're sending it from is going to be the SMTP server 
that we've enabled in our settings, as well as the port that we'll be using on that server. You know, concatenate that together, and we have our address that we use down here. And remember, authentication, we're using the SMTB plane authenticate, which, you know, leave the identity generally empty. And then, of course, you know, who are we sending it from, you know, which is the email address uh, that we have associated with our SMTP server. And then we have our password for our SMTP server. Uh, make sure that you keep that secret. Good idea to use it an environmental variable to hide that. And then, of course, our message, which we have is a combination of our subject and our body. And you know, make sure you have that new line there so it knows you know, how to separate those two. But anyway, if there's an error, we'll handle that error. And if not, we'll go ahead and uh, just print something to the console. But anyway, I uh, hope that was helpful. hope that gets you started. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, uh, just post them below. Please like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Thank you.